Okay, now we're gonna go into credit card payment methods, which will be right here. Now where you go for credit card payment methods is when you're logged into the back end, click on site info, you'll see right here on the left side on site configuration, you'll see payment methods. So we'll click on payment method. What you'll see here is you got Visa, American Express, MasterCard, Discover, all automatically checked. If you don't take Discover, just uncheck that. It's that simple. Now one thing we will do during training is we will enable, or during our, while we're building site, either the Net30 or the Net15 will enable this. The reason we do that is so that we can put test orders through without actually having to use our credit card. That way we're not paying you before you're set up to do that and we're not losing money. So, uh, what we'll do that and then obviously anytime you make changes you hit update here. Another thing with credit card information is we're going to go into site info, site configuration. Now I'm going to control F, I'm going to hit my find, I'm going to go search for payment and I'm going to come down here to payment options. So you'll see here there's authorized.net API login ID and transaction key. PayPal business account, completed UR canceled, this information. This is what's standard in here. But there are other payment options that you can do and these change based upon what we've selected in the back end. Now the back end is what's controlled by the Web Jaguar admin. It's part of our configuration parts uh, place. So this is what it looks like. Now you can see here authorized.net, ebiz charge, net commerce, your pay, pay rover, pay, PayPal Pro, Sage Payments, Stripe, all these different ones right here are things that we currently uh, have API configurations for and use on our site. So you can have any one of these and it will change the login information on the front end. But once we do that, we just set it up and then we'll just test it. And it's not, it's pretty simple from there. One thing I will mention though, PayPal. So there's pay, there's basic PayPal, then there's PayPal Pro. They are very different. Right there, PayPal Pro. Um, PayPal Pro is just like any authorization, takes takes a little bit longer than normal PayPal to get signed up for. Some people forget about that and it takes them a little bit longer to get set up and it can be can hold them back on getting operational. So make sure you do that early and get that taken care of.